twas the morn before Christmas and all through our state, few Republicans were stirring to take Cuomo's bait. For the governor was nestled in his GUV mansion lair, with an eye on the White House, he longs to be there. But before all that happens Andrew must run again, and remind all who'll listen how wonderful he's been. He gave us a billion to build Solar City, but the job numbers so far have really been bad. Brian Kolb wants a chance as political giant killer, but no upstater has won since Nathan L. Miller. On Kolb. On Giambra. On Sen. D. Fran. But where's Harry Wilson? He's really their man. At home, Byron Brown has won a fourth term, tying old Jimmy Griffin for the most you can earn. He promises the world as Buffalo's mayor, but his big job in 18 is Cuomo's state chair. Down in the Capitol they thought they'd be rich, through Congressman Collins and his Aussie stock pitch. Now Congress is probing and the Dems want a shot to challenge him next year, believe it or not. Now Nate. Now Stankovic. And also Sean Bunny. They think they can beat him without any money. In D.C. there reigns a right jolly old elf, who writes midnight tweets extolling himself. He's shaking things up, the town is not duller. But don't get complacent, there's still Robert Mueller. So let's wrap this up, there's gifts that need wrapping. To heck with the Pauls, and all of their yappin'. For they take the week off and give us a break from partisan bickering and news that is fake. But remember the news that you will read here is real and not fake, every day of the year. Again with apologies to Clement Clark Moore, we're no good at poetry, that is for sure. And so we'll resume when the calendar moves, wishing happy Christmas to all, from the Buffalo News.